An interesting picture I got from one of my followers on Twitter showed that his backswing was going way, way back. I see this a lot. People ask me questions all the time, Hank, how far should my club swing back? Well, you know, there's no exact set rule, but one of the things that you do want to do is you do want to have some coil at the top of the swing. And what that means is, is that your lower body resists and your upper body turns so that you create kind of a, a winding effect, almost like you're winding a rubber band up. And then when you release in the downswing, you'll have a, a much more powerful and, and repetitive motion. Now, the picture that I get a lot is a player who's turning their hips and their shoulders just about the same amount. Ideally, if you could, your hips would turn about 45 degrees and your shoulders would turn 90 degrees. And the idea is, is at the top of the swing, you're building up a coil. So you can see I'm starting to strain up here. That's what you want. If you can get to the top and just kind of stay there forever, you don't have any coil. If you feel the tension when you get to the top, that's what you want. And that will allow you to start the downswing more with your lower body and get that golf club coming more from the inside. So make sure when you swing the club back, it's not just how far you turn, but how much you turn and can create some good coil at the top of the swing. Resist with the lower body, turn the upper body, and you'll have a much more powerful, repetitive swing.